Hello, welcome to Design Time. I'm Jackie Lacey. Today we're going to talk about memorial and sympathy pieces and the options that we're seeing in today's market. One of the most incredible things that we've gone through in the last couple of years are with all the mass killings and with all the opportunities that we have been given to show our sympathy for multitudes, we want to look at the rainbow wreath because it's become incredibly popular. There are so many options when you're putting this together. This particular design, we've mixed some of the floral products that we're using, such as Gerbera daisies, carnations, roses, Alstroemeria. You could do the entire thing out of chrysanthemums and then spray it, but as you can see, when you use different textures and floral product that has either a round shape and then a tubular shape that's mixed with something that has a little bit more texture, it's far more interesting. That also means it can be far more expensive. So make sure when you start to sell your set pieces, as we call them, and because it's compact work, that you're charging the correct amount of labor. We suggest that you charge 30 to 35% labor because you're also using floral foam and a form provided to us by Smithers Oasis so that we maintain that form throughout doing the design. So the completed design gives a very pleasing look. It looks beautiful in photographs. People do take photographs of even sympathy and memorial designs. So make sure that you've looked from every angle to see that no matter where that's shot from, it's gonna make a beautiful photograph. One of the other areas that we're seeing more on today's sympathy and memorial market are designs for the home, such as something that would be suitable even as a centerpiece for a dining room table. Remember when someone loses a loved one, they're going to have a lot of people that are stopping by. They may be having food served at their home or they may be having a service after the memorial where they're going to partake of food. So it is very appropriate to send centerpieces that can be used for any of those venues or spaces. When you're designing something in a container that's going to be used for a dining room table, remember the rule of thumb is to put your elbow on the table and it should be below the wrist or above the head so that it doesn't impede conversation. But for this purposes, we put it in a beautiful marble container, which is one of the surfaces and materials or elements that we're seeing in the market. Marble is incredibly hot, and it's very appropriate for something concerning sympathy because of all of the marble that we see when we're at the graveside service or when we're in another area that has a lot of memorial pieces that are there. So using something that denotes both the element as well as the service. I also like to use containers that might be actually for another purpose, like we've done here, where we've actually combined the same texture of the design, but we've put two separate pieces together and we've inserted all of our floral product in the center, so it gives the appearance of being one container. It's a great way to move some of those everyday design pieces that you have or those everyday vessels and use them for another opportunity. We want to make sure we're taking every opportunity to utilize that vessel and sell it when we can, just in the case we have something that didn't sell when we had it on special. Another area that you want to make sure that you have on your website are memorials for pets. In today's market, a lot of people look at their pets as their children. Sometimes that may be the only person that they have with them at home and pets are incredibly important. Having some pieces like this that would be appropriate for a dog or something like this for the cat that's out under the tree, that's why we've done a topiary here, will help someone get past the loss of that pet because it's just as physical and emotional as losing a loved one or a child. So make sure that you look at all of the available markets and what's trending in your area and list those not just on your Google explanation, but you also wanna have a page dedicated on your website so that you can drive everyone right there and let them know that what's available. Remember, a memorial is a celebration of life and that's what we're really honoring, celebrating that person's life. Hope this will help you and join us again next time for Design Time.